And he said to me, you believe the world is round? I said, yes. That means in his background, it can't be. So I pointed to his head, showing me how smart he was. He said, if the world is round, man, fall me down here. All the water, he fall me down from the world. Do you understand that now? And I figured, boy, I got to get to this guy if I want to change the world. So I put a balloon in his hand, and I rubbed the balloon with fur fast. And I put some cornflakes in his hand and told him to hold it away from the balloon. OK. <laughs> and all the cornflakes, when you rub it, you generate static electricity. And all the cornflakes jumped up to the balloon. And he said, world, he magnet? I said, eh. Ah, oh. <laughs> he went in the next room and explained that to the Arabs. Now look, the average person doesn't like to confront people that think differently than they do. Now you can get along with people You say, look, folks, the Earth is a little round and a little flat, and you get along with a lot of people. But that's not the business of science. They used to believe that the stars went around the world, that the world was the center of the universe. And so that was smashed. We still believe in gods and demons. If you go to Mexico, the rooms were at different heights in the middle of class home. And I asked, why do you make all the rooms at a different height? Because the devil, does, does the devil, devil doesn't like to walk up or down stairs. He likes to walk on a flat plane. And they believe that with a straight face, just like a Christian does this before he goes off a diving board or into a bullfight. Now try to picture this. In ancient Rome, maybe on Saturday, I'm not sure of the day, the whole family would come to see Christians being fed the lions. And the kids would say, Daddy, can we come next week to see Christians being fed the lions? If you behave yourself. <laughs> so, are these kids insane? No. That was normal to that time. If you're brought up in the Arab world, a man looks at an object like he's not that interested in it. He says, how much do you want for that? He says, $10. I give you $3. Well, that's normal to that country. When the guy comes to Sears, the Arab, he says, how much do you want for the clerk? Like, he's not that interested. The clerk doesn't even know. The clerk picks it up. He says, eight ninety-five. I give you $2. Goddamn foreigners. <laughs> it's normal for that person where they're coming from to do that. Do you see that? There are no good or bad people. A serial killer is made that way. If he's genetically damaged, he's not responsible. If his brain is warped, he's not responsible. And the psychiatrists work ass backwards. They try to change the person. It's really the culture that fucks people off badly. You understand what I'm saying? The culture. There's no bad words. They're just different expressions. So, all of your congressmen lie. The Democrats lie about the Republicans. The Republicans lie about the Democrats. And even, even guys like Carl Sagan try, try, tried to raise money to communicate with extraterrestrials. They want to build big antennas. If the Democrats can't communicate with the Republicans, <laughs> and husbands and wives have difficulty communicating, how the hell are they going to communicate with extraterrestrials? Let's assume there were extraterrestrials. Anything that can travel a hundred million light years in space is not like us. They don't want to meet your president. The president would be an asshole. <laughs> He's an ignorant man, Bush and his whole group, very stupid. The Democrats just a little behind. But there's no such thing as intelligent government. Government is managed to keep things the way they are. People are elected to political office not to change things, but to keep things as they are. The same with universities. They depend on funding from big corporations. So guys like me don't get much of a chance to speak to university students. I'm considered not a boat rocker, but a boat sinker. So if you sink the boat, if you speak frankly and the truth, your chances of getting on radio, NBC, CBS are zero, because they depend on sponsors. When I was on Larry King, I was on four times, he said to me, you attack the drug companies, the cigarette companies, the auto companies. I never did attack the auto companies. This is what I said on the Larry King show. I said, if you have an airbag in front of you, it's all right. But if you get hit on the side, 
If it goes right through the glass, the whole inside has to be an airbag. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So he said, why don't they do that? I said, Larry, I can't answer that. I can only tell you they don't do it. Then I said, if you, if you don't want war, Larry, you have to bring all the people of the world together. And they don't know how to do that. They want to bring democracy there. You can't bring democracy to a nation that has a different set of values unless they choose it. And how do they choose it? Through education. Can you educate them? Of course not. They, they, you can't control people unless you make them pretty much uninformed as best you can. The reason you do that is you can control them. If you teach people to think and reason, you can't in times of war get any, anybody enlist in the army. You can't move people in mass, so you make them all alike. Here's what I mean by that. If we taught history, real history, the new American history, to be history of our country, the mistakes we made, the good things we did, that would be for all nations. So people do not always do the right thing. They can't. And so you live in a managed world, and your kids in the future will say to you, wasn't it obvious? that you paid off senators, you paid off governors, you paid off different people to get your will? Isn't that obvious? I guess not. And so, if you do away with the money system, you can't have sale of drugs. You can't pay off senators. You can't buy people. You understand what I'm saying? As long as you've got money, no matter who you elect, you say, well, maybe if we elect decent people in government, no way. Even if you had the most decent people in the world, taken from the best churches you like, if you ran out of resources, be lying, <coughs> cheating, killing, stealing. It's resources that people need, not money. Access to resources. Is there anybody who has difficulty with that? So I will just take another drink, if you don't mind. Thank you. <coughs> So what we advocate then is a resource-based economy, no money. Resources mean today normal people, normal means screwed up. Normal people say, how much will it cost to build a new city like you have up there? That isn't the question. The real question is, do we have the resources to house everyone on earth, take care of everybody medically and every other? Yes, we do. We have more than enough resources. If you consider the money spent in World War II, we could have wiped out the slums all over the world. Educated people, build the best universities free of charge. Why do we do it free of charge? Because the smarter the kids are, the richer all of us are. Every kid shooting up drugs, hanging out in malls. Why? They have no place to go. There should be art centers, music centers, cultural centers, theater groups where people can go. They hang out in malls and coke stands because there's no place to go. And the government, I'm going to say this, the government and industry doesn't give a shit about people. Proof now. They would not outsource. If I drive a big factory, if I pay my help more than the minimum wage, I can't stay in business if he outsourced it to China. You understand? You're not going to invest in a company that builds playgrounds for the women's children that work in the factory. You want the money spent on products, advertising, so the income is greater, so you invest that. So we're all sons of bitches in the monetary system. It makes us that way. When I say if you're not, consult your bank account to see who you are. So it's very difficult in a monetary system to be decent or fair. A lawyer is a guy who can take language and do whatever the hell he wants with it. He can best believe he's a good lawyer. He can make your system sound bad. So in the future, there'll be no lawyers, no bankers, no investment brokers, no one that makes money by not service, donating service to the country. So the future, you'll have structural engineers, chemical engineers. They don't run the country, by the way. They merely deal with problems. That's hard to understand. I'm not talking about a technical elite. I have just as much fear of that of any other system. I'm talking about the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. That's what I